Hello and welcome to my tutorial taking a look at how I painted this Tyranid Termagant in Hive Fleet Leviathan colours using only Army Painter Speed Paints and Citadel Contrast. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so you can keep up to date with all my future videos. After undercoating your model in white, you need to thin some princess pink with speed paint medium to around a 1 to 2 ratio. Apply this mixture to all the fleshy areas of the model, taking care not to paint it on too thickly. You want to make sure a lot of the white undercoat is showing through on the raised areas. Once the pink has fully dried, take howling sand and paint a thin coat over the parts you painted pink. Focus on the raised areas and try not to let the howling sand flow into the deepest recesses. We want to keep those pink. Next, take some peachy flesh, and this is going to be used on the gun. We want to keep the feel of the model very organic, and peachy flesh helps us achieve this while helping us differentiate between the flesh of the termagant and the flesh of the gun. With the base coats of the flesh done, it's time to look at the chitin armour, and for this we'll be using Moody Mauve. Take your time with this process because Moody Mauve is a very rich colour and it will harshly tint those flesh areas you've already painted if you're not careful. To help you do this, take each armour panel one at a time. Now let's pick out some details on the flesh, and for this we'll use Familiar Pink. You can use this to paint any joints on the legs and arms along with the tip of the gun. When working on the gun, use a clean, damp brush to help blend the pink into the peachy flesh to avoid harsh lines. For the claws and leftover armour plates on the gun, we'll use Black Templar. This will make them stand out from the rest of the model without being too much of a distraction from the overall colour scheme. You can also use this as a base coat for the mouth and the eyes. A little optional step here is to use some rattling grime and apply a thin line between the flesh of the hand and the weapon. This will help divide the individual pieces if the paint lines have become blurred. Next, take some bold titanium white or any strong white paint. You can use this to pick out the teeth and very carefully paint the center of the eye. On these models, the eye itself is raised to make your life easier. Once the white on the eyes has dried, grab some Griff Hound Orange and use this to tint the white of the eye. The final step is the base. For this I use dark wood, but you can change this to suit whatever planet your Tyranids are fighting on. Feel free to add some grass tufts and paint the rim of the base black and then you're done. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Let me know what other models you'd like me to paint in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more hobby content.